Hi guys, this is Terry here again from Aussie Diamond Painters and I just thought I'd come on and do a drill with me. Um, I'm still working on this one but I'm now officially over halfway which is great. Um, this has got to be done by the middle of February and I'll certainly have it done by then um, even with all these three tens. I've also got um, my tag that I'm still going through. There's pages and pages of this tag. You should know me inside out by the time I'm finished. Um, but we'll see. Okay, where's my, there it is. My little diamond. I've just been doing patterns on here to keep it a little bit interesting for me. Um, because three tens are starting to drive me really batty, but um, I want to get this finished for that friend of mine. The friend of mine is actually, um, we used to go away to Nambucca Heads every year for Christmas, which is um, up the coast. Um, and Dad used to take his speedboat so we used to ski in the morning and then this guy's father used to um, take us to one of the surfing beaches in the afternoon or to um, we used to go to Big Banana every year or some other um, place around where we're staying take us to Maxfall for ice cream or something like that so dad used to entertain us in the mornings and this guy's father used to entertain us in the afternoons. Um, I, I can't remember how old I was when we started going up there. I think I was very young, like six or seven. Um, and he's a couple of years older than me, this guy. Um, but we've remained friends ever since. So he's actually moved up to... Nambucky Head, where we used to go on holidays. He loved it so much. Uh, when he got um, old enough, off he went. And um, he lives up there now. So it's a nice place to go. I go every now and then, not terribly often. Um, but every now and then to visit him. Um, I think the last time I was there was about two years ago, two or three years ago. Um, and I stayed with him for a few days while I was having a look around again. and. Um, catching up with him so we're just we're just really good friends and um, we have a great time when I go up so he has um, he's single now but um, he has a couple of kids that we take out and I visit with and that sort of thing while I'm up there it takes me about six or seven hours to get there driving so but it's a beautiful area now back ahead it's um you know beaching a beach area so go down to the beach and the beaches are, are um fairly private like when when you're out of school holidays there's hardly anybody there school holidays it's really busy but um there'll be nobody there in february or just the locals in February, so it won't be too busy, so that'll be good. Have a good time. I keep turning this down with my hand, bloody thing. And with the blacks, for some reason, I seem to need the pad, um, even though I know they're all black. Um, they sort of start to mingle in together for me, for some reason. Uh, anyway, I'll just get this line finished and we'll start on the tag. Okie dokie. Would you rather forget to pack clean underwear when travelling or forget to pack your footwear? Forget to pack my footwear, I think because um, especially if I'm doing a lot of walking I want jogs and stuff and you can just buy underwear anyway um, so it's not a huge deal you probably have a, pe a 
you know, a pair on and um, buy some when you get to where you're going. Would you rather have one million dollars right now or one penny doubling every day for 30 days? I think I'd rather the one penny doubling every day. I think you would end up with more that way. Um, and what's 30 days? It's not long really. Um, would you rather have a million dollars in your bank account or an IQ 145? Well, I think if you had an IQ 145, you'd more than likely have a million dollars in your bank account. Total genius. Um, so yeah, 145 IQ. Um, would you rather have six sons or six daughters? I'd, rather, I'd like to have six of anything. I wanted to have at least six children, um, but I couldn't have any. So, um, as you know, I have a daughter who's adopted. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't care, six, six of anything. But if I really had to choose between the two, probably six boys, girls can be so bitchy and having six of them in the same house that would just be horrendous um, with six boys you don't have to worry about um, pregnancy uh, you do have to worry about them becoming parents but it's not such a um, I don't think it'd be such a huge deal to be a teenage father um, rather than being a teenage mother I think the teenage mother would be a lot more difficult to deal with because you have more responsibility usually um, if it was a case of um, the mother going to adopt the child out or something like that and the and the your son wanted it um, you know if I was in that situation I would help him um, but other than that, it's usually the mother that has most of the responsibility um, with teenage pregnancies. I'd help as much as I could if they'd let me get involved, but um, yeah, it's um, so that'd be one problem that you wouldn't have, but. What would you guys do if your son got a girl pregnant at a young age or if your son has got a girl pregnant at a young age how do you how would you handle that I'd be interested to know if anybody's had any experience with it and what you did I think I would um, try and support the girl as much as I could if she allowed um, not only financially where I could um, but more so emotionally and um, you know babysitting as well um, yeah but if you're if, if you've been in that situation let me know what you would do if you were the mother of the the teenage father interesting to know Would you rather have a 99% chance of winning um, $100,000 or a 50-50 chance at $10 million? Um, Better the devil you know. Probably the 99% chance of $100,000. i am not greedy. that would pay all my bills. <laughs> and some. Um... Yeah. Would you rather have a big stomach or fat cheeks? Oh dear. I have both. <laughs> I'm not the thinnest person in the world. 
um, keep bumping that bloody button. Um, probably a fat stomach because you can hide that more. Whereas with your cheeks, you can't really hide that. That's something that you would have forever. Unless it was medication and it would go away. Like when my daughter was really sick um, quite a few years ago, she was put on pregnazone and a fairly high dose of pregnazone. And um, side effect of pregnazone is give you a moon face, so a really round face, but she didn't like it. But like when she went off the medication, uh, the roundness also went away. So uh, it wasn't something that stayed with her forever. And apparently people who have heart transplants or transplants, um, have to take pregnazone or some sort of medication similar because they get a very round face from the medication they're on so um, hmm. <sighs> where are we would you rather have a friend who is very blunt with their words or a friend who tells you a lot of white lies a friend that tells you a lot of white lies. <laughs> um, I think, because you don't want somebody telling you, you know, you look fat in that. No, you look nice in that dress. Would be better. Then you'd feel better about yourself for the whole time you're out. You know, little white lies like that, it's okay, but not big ones. Um, but little white ones is okay. Um, would you ha rather have an American accent or a British accent? Well, I have an Australian accent, so <laughs> I think I'd rather have that. Um, some of the southern is beautiful. I love sa southern accents. Um, southern American, sorry, accents. Um, Texas is to me is more of a drawl. And um, yeah, that one doesn't sort of turn me on as much, but um, the Southern gentleman accents are um, pretty nice. Would you rather have annoying neighbors or neighbors who always seem to annoy? The ones that always seem to annoy because they may not really annoy. Maybe that you've, you know, something they've said in the past is annoyed you um, and you just can't let go of it but over time that would change um, probably um, would you rather have the ugliest house in a beautiful neighborhood or the most beautiful house in an ugly neighborhood I think an ugly ha house in a beautiful neighborhood because you could always knock it down and rebuild and they always say that you should buy the worst house in the best street. Um, that way you could make a profit on it. You know, if you pulled it pulled it down and restarted. So yeah, that that'd be the way I'd go. Would you rather have to change your clothes five times a day or wear the same outfits five times in a row? I'd rather have to change my clothes five times a day because uh, it, it, it doesn't actually mean that you need different outfits it just means you have to change your clothes so you could have two sets of clothes uh, for the day and just keep changing from one to the other I suppose because they didn't actually say in the question that you can't wear the same set of clothes more than once in, in a day so Oh dear. I'll be so pleased when um, the three tens are done. I keep looking over there 
I've got all my black drills just sitting on the table in a bunch over here and it doesn't seem to be getting much smaller um, every time I take a bag it doesn't seem to get much smaller and I'm sure it is because I'm over halfway so they're probably half gone or I've got a lot of leftovers one of the two <laughs> um, Would you rather live in a five bedroom apartment all alone or live in a one bedroom apartment with five kids? Ah, uh, wow. I suppose it depends on how old you are <laughs> um, and how old the kids are. That's a hard one. One bedroom apartment with five kids, that would be really, really difficult. But a five bedroom apartment on your own. Hmm. Again, you might have had the five kids in a five bedroom apartment and they've grown up and moved out. Um, that would be okay could have a diamond painting room and I could have a crochet room <laughs> I could have a knitting room <laughs> I could have a room for, for every, a jewelry room I could have a room for every craft I do um, or maybe two crafts into one room I do so many crafts I'd probably fill them up pretty quick um, hmm well, I've always wanted to have a lot of children and I think the case of having five children in a one bedroom unit would be better than having no children in a five bedroom unit, I think. Um, it would be very difficult to live that way, I would assume. Um, but I mean, if you had to, you had to. Um, you wouldn't have a choice it'd just be something that um, that happens I don't know how you'd set them up maybe um, put some sort of divider in the one bedroom um, boys on one side and girls on the other if you had fairly even um, but if you had five of a kind uh, five boys or five girls you could have it as one room um, but I think you have to um, have separate rooms for s separate genders I don't think it would be very good if you had a shared gender room and just separate the room I mean that that wouldn't be so difficult you wouldn't have to put a wall up you just put like um, dividers up and and try and have it so one gender can't get into the other gender's room um, somehow I don't know how you do that but I think that'd be the way to go um, would you rather live in a place where it's always raining or a place where the Sun never goes down I think you get awfully depressed either way because you've got to have some darkness and you've got to have some sunlight um, but I would say a place probably where the sun never went down at least you could put in um, I've got block out blinds on my bedroom because it's um it's got a huge balcony and a huge glass sliding door um so you could put like block out curtains in all the rooms and make them dark to make sleeping a little easier whereas rain you could you wouldn't be able to get away from it you wouldn't be able to, like you could put shelters up i suppose but not everywhere you go would be a shelter 
Um, yeah, so probably a place where the sun never goes down. Would you rather live in a rural area or suburb or a suburban area? Suburban area for me, please. Um, rural would be good. Um, <coughs> but for me, for my type of job, I need suburbia. Um, unless I could work from home. And in that case, it wouldn't matter where I where I lived. I can work from home sometimes in my job. Um, but, yeah, not the highest percentage is going into the office. Um, I have a laptop that's connected to the office. Um, but there's meetings and stuff that you've got to attend and, and you know, you can't rely on um, like Skype and, and um, those sort of mediums all the time. You don't sort of you don't see as much of the people's um, body language and things like that because it would only be fo focusing on one person, not the whole meeting room. So I think that would be pretty difficult to do. Um, but if you had to, you could, I suppose. A lot of people do, I bet. But, um, yeah. Be nice to be able to work from home all the time. You could sit around um, in your jammies, like Wendy says she does. She says she sits around in her jammies six days a week. <laughs> so, yeah, Wendy from Gone Off My Meds, I'm talking about. Um, she just she said the other day that she wears a jammie six days a week. So good on her. Um, Sometimes even when I work from home, I get up and have a shower and um, get dressed properly. So I'm in the work mode if I'm finding it difficult to concentrate or think I'm going to find it difficult to concentrate on that day. Um, If you're wondering why I'm not using my drafting table, I'm actually down in my bedroom because my daughter and a boyfriend are back from holidays and um, I just think it's pretty rude if I sat up there and asked them to be quiet for an hour <laughs> so I can um, record a video. So when they're home, I do them downstairs on this table. Uh, when they go out, I'll I'll, um, I'll start doing some up there again. It's annoying. I wish you could charge these things, um, like you do your iPad. You charge them up overnight or whatever, and you can use it, like you know, most of the day. But I haven't seen any that do that if you do let me know because I'd love to get one because um, it's turning off all the time it drives me crazy it's my fault I'm doing it but um, yeah my fingers or my hand gets in the way and turns them down turns it down or turns it off or cord comes out or so if anybody knows the one that you can charge overnight or whatever and um, use it without having to plug it in or um, that would be so good but I've never seen one maybe someone should invent one some industrious person MacGyver maybe <laughs> Wendy gone off my meds friend um, she seems to be able to put things together to make them work I would rather the up and down button be um, away from the sides like they are. Maybe put it underneath or along the side um, 
bit where you know you go nowhere near so you don't bump it all the time but yeah that would be good like the up and down volume on a phone mine's on the side of the phone on an iPhone 10 so maybe there would be good but anyway um, would you rather live in an apartment or a house I now because I'm single would rather live in an apartment um, I'm getting older and maintenance on a house is fairly big as in mowing the lawn and painting and um, all that sort of thing whereas if you're in an apartment that's sort of all done for you so well the outside anyway in the hallways the inside of the apartment is your responsibility but um, yeah, normally they're not that big so uh, I don't think it'd be a lot of work to um, keep the maintenance up on the inside of an apartment Would you rather live in ancient Greece or ancient Rome? Well, I really don't think there'd be much of a difference if you're talking ancient, ancient. Um, except ancient Rome was a br bit brutal. I don't know. I don't know much about ancient Greece, but I know ancient Rome was. Um, pretty brutal so I would say probably Greece would be better would you rather not be able to go out in the daytime or not be able to go out in the night time I'd rather not be able to go out in the night time at least in the daytime you can go and get your diamond painting supplies and all the other craft stuff you want Would you rather talk in your sleep or fart in your sleep? I think I'd rather fart in my sleep. You can get into awful trouble if you talk in your sleep. You don't know what you're saying. Um, would you rather walk funny or talk funny? Hmm. I think I would rather walk funny. Because at least you could still do, you know, talk on the telephone and... Um, uh, do YouTube videos without too much trouble would you rather your parents were able to read your thoughts or your crush was able to read your thoughts well I'd hate it if my parents could read my thoughts it wouldn't be so bad if your crush could I suppose but yeah, maybe it would be better off for your crush to be able to read your thoughts. At least then you know, they'd know. They'd know what you were thinking about them. Let's put a couple of these drills in here. I don't know why. But I just saw them then when I was answering those questions. Hmm. Okay. What is your middle name? My middle name is June, J-U-N-E. Uh, what is your favourite colour? Blue. Um, was. Red sort of taking over. Um, who was your first best, best friend, the girl that used to live down the street, um, Debbie Whitelaw. How tall are you? Five foot tall? Cats or dogs? I would prefer a dog, but um, I live in an apartment, so cats for me is a go. Funniest moment throughout school? Funniest moment throughout school? I don't know. I'll come back to that if I think of anything. 
How many countries have you visited? Huh? Manila, Hong Kong, America, Canada, um, Vanuatu, um, Mystery Island, quite a few islands around the South Pacific on a cruise. Um, are you in? Have you gone to college? Well, college is different um, in the States to what it is here. I think your college is our university. Um, and yes, I have. What was your favourite worst, worst subject at high school? English. Because I'm dyslexic, so I had a lot of trouble with English. Um, what is your favourite drink? Uh, hate to say it, but probably Coke. What is your favourite animal? Yeah. Those, um, oh, what do they call them? They stick their heads up. Oh, dear, oh, dear. And you see them on TV and they've got statues and they've got, like, garden statues. And, oh, what are they called? Totally lost it. I can see them in my, brain, in my uh, mind's eye, but I can't think of the name of them. If I do, I'll come back. What is your favourite perfume? I've got a Gucci perfume that's very nice. To your coffee, tea. Can't stand the smell of coffee. Um, what would you or have you named your children? Yes, I have one daughter. Her name is Rebecca. What sports do you play? Have you played tennis? Swimming are the two main ones. Um, I've played softball. Oh, God. Um, ten pin bowling. Um, and all these are competitive, not just playing at muck around. Um, but yeah, tennis and swimming were probably the two um, top ones. What is your favourite book? I don't know that I have a favourite book. Who are some of your favourite YouTubers? Oh, well, you've got Wendy from Gone Off My Meds, you've got Ella from Kicking Cancer's Butt and Diamond Painting. You've got, um, I know I'm going to say this wrong, Alicia from um, Crafting with Mrs. Coffee. I can't think of her name, of her channel name. Uh, you got Donny from Diamond Painting with Donny. Um, the list just goes on and on. Um, at the moment, my videos that I'm watching, I'm back to, I think I'm up to Christmas Day now. Um, and it's, you know, well into January for me here. So, um, but I'm going on a cruise. I've downloaded them all. Um, I'm going on a cruise and I'm sure I'll get through some more while I'm there on the cruise um, but yeah I, I, um, I sub to a lot and I watch them all whether I'm behind or or not um, you got Frutini um, there was one girl that I haven't seen for a long time and um, little bit concerned about um, she wasn't that well I can't remember her name um, but the reason that I was drawn to her is she was trying to adopt in the States um, and whether she got a child or um, whether something happened I have no idea but um, I haven't heard about her for such a long time a little bit of concern anyway um, what is my favorite movie Oh, anything with Richard Gere in it. Pretty Woman was on last night. I watched it. Um, and I can just about recite Pretty Woman. But any movie that Richard Gere's in, I like. Um, uh, that guy in the ranch, the grandfather in the ranch with the... Um, is it the ranch? has a very deep voice and usually does um, movies and things where he lives on um, 
lives on country properties. I think it's the ranch. Very deep voice, grey hair, grey mo. Just can't think of his name. Are you single or taken? I am very much a single. Uh, what time are we up to? 35 minutes. Okay. What's your idea of an ideal first date? Um, because I'm shy and I have trouble talking to new people to start with face to face, I'm okay over the phone and like um, doing these YouTubes and things. Um, but talking to people face to face, I, you know, for the first time, I find a bit difficult. Um, so somewhere where you can people watch maybe, um, or on the beach where you're private and it's, um, that makes it a little bit easier for me to talk. Um, something like that, yeah. How many girlfriends, boyfriends have you had? Well, I haven't had any girlfriends per se, as in girlfriends. Um, I've had one, two, three, four, five, maybe six or seven um, boyfriends. What's your favourite memory from memory from childhood? I don't know. I don't have many memories from childhood. I was in a fairly bad car accident and my memory shot from um, childhood and stuff. So I think I'll have to skip that one. Do you speak any different languages and how well? Well, I speak Australian. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> um, no, I'm just an English speaking person. Do I have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have an older sister and an older brother. I'm the baby. Uh, how would you describe your fas fashion sense? 50-50. Mm, what is my favourite restaurant? Um, it's one out of two, it's either Italian or seafood. What are some of your favourite TV shows? Oh. Um, Law and Order SVU, NCIS, um, Criminal Intent, um, uh, a stupid one I only watch because my daughter what does is um, Home and Away, which is an Australian production. Um, but I like a lot of the um, informative shows or um, documentaries or, um, you know, Law and Order, Criminal Intent, those sort of things, NCIS, I like all those. PC or Mac? Well, I'm 50-50. Um, I have a PC dex desktop. I work on a PC at work, but I have an iPhone, an iPad, um, an Apple Watch. Everything else is Apple. I have a laptop, Apple laptop. Um, everything's Apple except my desktop, which is a PC. What phone do you have, iOS or Android? Well, I just answered that, but I have iOS. Tell us one of your bad habits. Don't have to tell you, I'll just show you. I used to be a fairly heavy smoker. Now I'm a vapor. Um, I'd like to drop them all together. Um, These next couple of pages are just um, oh, have I finished. Oh, I finished that one. 
Wow. Yeah, I have. Wow, I didn't think I'd ever finish that. Well, then that one's finished. Um, which means I'll probably stop the video because I've got to try and find another tag, I suppose, or start doing lives, one of the two. Um, I might try and do a live tomorrow or soonish. Um, probably after I come back from the cruise, which is the 10th of January. Not going for very long. Um, while I'm away, I might record um, a few videos. I'd like to do one of, if it's nice weather, um, I'll do one as we're leaving Sydney Harbour. Oh, we're not leaving Sydney Harbour. Oh, damn going from White Bay. I don't know what sort of vista there is um, from where the ship's leaving from. I've never um, I've never been there before. It's called White Bay. Um, I've never been there before so I don't know what sort of view you'll get. I was hoping we were going from Sydney Harbour so I could um, do a video of the Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge and that sort of thing. Um, but we're not leaving from the harbour, we're leaving from White Bay, which is a bugger because it's a bugger to get to. Um, no public transport or anything, which is really silly to have a cruise ship leaving from somewhere where there's no. Um, public transport it's just to me that just seems so silly but anyway um, which means that one of the ladies that's going has actually hired a bus so we're all leaving from my parents place or meeting at my parents place and um, hopping on a bus and going because as I said there's no public transport so it's either that or getting a taxi and a taxi to where it um, to White Bay where the ship's leaving from would be would cost everyone an absolute fortune probably almost as much as the cruise <laughs> but um, yeah so she's hired a bus and we all just pay our bit and um, off we go Okay, well I'll say goodbye for now um, and I hope you have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever you are and um, I hope to talk to you really soon. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section and um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty open so anything you'd like to ask about me or Sydney or Australia or um, Australian slang which a lot of people seem to get caught up in um, just leave a note in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can remembering that um, the time difference like um, for a lot of the time Australia is sleeping while you're awake so um, yeah I'll do another video soon I'll talk to you later Bye-bye for now.